Hello oh, again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery with a bit of a gravelly throat and uh, something in my brain that means that we want me to operate on autopilot and you're along for the ride and it may be entertaining and it may not work but I've done enough blooms <coughs> at this point to want to try to do something similar to the stuff I've done already. And these are primary elements these two, this one, that's a primary elements mango. This is orange mica powder. That is a golden iridescent fluid. I can't remember what that is. This was an Anita's metallic. This is my favorite magenta with fine uh, golden's iridescent pearl fine in it. And this is the green gold from Folk Art that is working for me really, really, really well. Um, this is white mica powder. I'm gonna have to find the cover for that soon because these are a little warmer than they should be. I'm not sure how much of this, any of this, I'm gonna use. Thank you for not knocking over the green, Priscilla. I am going to grab my 16 by 12 inch canvas and a couple of cottage cheese lids because they make life easier when I don't have to worry about painting sticking on all sides. I also have a pour off container. I have another one around here I'm supposed to be using but I'm not sure where it is right now. And um, I've mixed up a whole bunch of cell activator which is nothing more than three quarters flow troll and a quarter color. My, the new one I want to try more of is going to be the golden uh, fl high flow. I used high flow in there. So to start off I think putting the glasses on my face might be a really great idea. And I'm looking around for that paint can, and I found it. Oh, that's so cool. All right, so I've been saving my runoff in here. Hey, I got a, I got a favor to ask you guys at the beginning of this video so I don't forget. Other than a thumbs up, if you haven't been told or you haven't seen my videos before, the only thing that's going to help my status and standing and placement of YouTube videos at YouTube is if you watch the video longer. So I would really super appreciate it if you guys decided you could do that. Hopefully I can get enough of these things out of the way. Now I started the other day with both black and white. I did not attempt to do what I'm doing right now, which is to use a gallery wrapped canvas. But I didn't go super fat far past this amount of paint. And what I definitely want to do is use a little bit of everything. And keep a few things separate. And I'm supposed to layer them over each other, I have the feeling. And I am going to enjoy using my cell activating colors, especially the golden magenta cell activator and the folk art color shifting purple. And I have some other purple. I am slowly but surely learning to not over bless my artwork with supreme abundance of color because it doesn't seem to help. It makes cells at least. I'm going to miss this color when it's gone. I, I bought a kit for myself but it was $90 and that was the sale price. So I'm not sure when that'll be happening again but the good news is I do have mica powders like this one on my Amazon link and they do work pretty nicely. I use a whole lot of different things. Maybe one more color. Let's try the uh, try the orange I made up, which I'm not sure where where I made it up from, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. It was acrylic, and I added uh, iridescent pearl fine to it to see what would happen. This is my my golden magenta cell activator. And I've been looking forward to trying the black. 
And what else do I have? I have this, uh, I have the folk art. So, no idea what's going to happen now. A few different colors than the other day. Maybe not enough. I think I'm going for this. And maybe a little bit down here, too. Because it's so thick. Come on off. <laughs> it's getting so thick. Which means it's a good time to... Uh, find and put the cover back on. I also didn't use any of my white pearl and I want to. So let's just put that right there. And that's another one that's gone to super thickness. And that I have the lid close by. Yay! Alright, what if anything do I want? I have some, uh, I made some cell activator out of Prussian blue and I think that that would be the perfect thing to put here. And there, and maybe everywhere. We'll see. All right, maybe I can get most of my stuff out of my way and seal up anything like my precious, my precious uh, primary elements. And there's a cover. That's great. I didn't, still didn't use any yellow. Okay. Well. Hopefully, the cell activator will. Uh, will help us out. And I have a lid here. And I only, I just really want to put space down to hold my box open. This box right here. And now I'm going to probably move that. Well, now I'm going to blow into it. And you can see, so far, so good. We'll see if any, we activate any cells. I've never known anything with Prussian Blue not to activate cells. Now, there is always the saving grace of swiping, and I do have little acetate cards should I want to do that. And nobody's going to keep me from reapplying more cell activator. I haven't dumped anything off yet. Yeah, I realize that. Okay, so I think, even though I don't usually like it, I'm going to throw a little bit of white cell, act cell activator right in there, because I know black and white m will make cells. And this whole process is in an attempt to make cells. It's been suggested I use a straw, which I have done before. We really don't know which way this is going to go. And I'm going to probably let this rest for a minute after I get it close to the edge in a few places. There's a, probably too much color there. I'm going to assume that I went overboard. But I'm not going to assume that it's a fail yet. Because I can still dump things off. Now, I was talking about an edge catcher, and let's see if I can find one now before it gets to be any later in this process. I do have a bunch. I guess I'm just going to take a risk on using a huge one, or the one next to it. That'll work. So, this is a great time to experiment with the edge catcher because what I want to do, what I want to do is make sure I'm as close to all my edges as I can get before I continue on. And I'm going to try and talk less because my voice is getting hoarse again already. I haven't lost anything yet. I do like the pillow paint for that aspect. I could pour something off that end pretty easily. 
Now, if, if in theory, <laughs> I can get this to work halfway as well as it did on a, on a much less deep canvas, then I should be able to pull some of my colors from the edge catcher right down over the edge as I flow it back. But I think I'm going to have to flow it back first. This is a whole new gig. And trepidatious at best since it's sticking. That's not fair. <laughs> I almost had it, too. All right, so I've got something covered, and that's a good start. It's going to be black and white where I stuck my finger in it. I am interested in going ahead and continuing my experiment, which is, as you can tell, fairly trepidatious. I'm not going to worry about the paint that's on that edge catcher right now doing any harm. Because the worst thing it can do is cover that edge. And I definitely want some paint down in this corner. I don't necessarily want to lose anything. We'll see what happens. I don't mind having a rather large pillow of paint. And I could pluck it off and probably put it on somewhere else. On another side. Hard telling, not knowing. And I'm shaking. And I got another partial side covered. This reminds me of some of my really early fluid acrylic pores, except for the dripping <laughs> on my arm. So I'm just going to let those two things, three things, four things fall down. And there's no way to do this that's not messy, in my opinion, so far at least. I do have another hand hold. And I can flow that paint right down over here. And then that way. And I could probably touch that right there, which isn't going to hurt my feelings any. And everything is dripping down quite nicely. I still got a couple places I can hold on. This is going to be a lot about the negative space, I can tell you now. Although I really kind of feel like filling that in with white and not worrying about it. And I'm going to have to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas to grab some of the color off my edge catcher and try and uh, lead it down the side. I am getting some nice bloom cells. I do have three minutes left. And I am sending my paint over the side of my canvas. I'm not super thrilled about that, but that's the way it goes. I'm resting it up there on that box. I'm wiping my fingers off. And I'm going to take some of this paint right here, right now. And I'm going to let it fall down right over the side. It seems to be a little bit of trouble, but it does work. And in the name of experimenting, I like things that work. Now, unless you can attach a little thin film, and now I'm doing it backwards, you're not going to get complete coverage with a pattern attached to it. But I've got all of this. that I can use right there, and will. And I've got some white paint, straight up. Oh, I think that was, that was actually cell activator. Okay then, never mind, it's still white paint. I'll just add some more regular latex. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. There, I just broke my new cardinal rule, which is to not lead little trails and tails over other parts of the painting. But okay, never mind. We'll survive it. A 
I'm going to check my sides. It's not the same as the last one I did because of it being so much, so such a deep canvas. And I am going to use my breath to try and blow down some of the edges. And I don't mind it being abstract. And I think I'm still going to want to um, potentially torch, although maybe with my throat the way it is, inhaling is a bad idea. I'm just touching up the little tiny bit. Actually, it doesn't look too bad on the edges. It's not the most cohesive pattern for sure. Like it's not total a total match for the top. I've still got plenty of things. I've got 15 seconds to to tell you guys that there's two minutes coming up that I can talk to you about uh, watching the videos longer is the only way the YouTube algorithm knows to place me in good placement. If you're interested in helping me out, it's a $10 minimum, but you'll be included in a drawing that happens once a month, and you can find the prizes on the end screen video of exhibition paintings of mine. And uh, you can find the place to contribute through PayPal or Patreon right underneath the video. They're blue links. And also on my YouTube channel, there's icons on the header. Stick my finger right in there and grab some paint. I've got some black over here. I wonder if I can make it work. No, it's gray. Well, what I do have <laughs> is more black pillow paint. So if I really want that to be black, I can make it black pretty quickly. And I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time lamenting. I do have a desire to torch. And that is pretty cool, to tell you the truth. I like that a lot. Maybe more than I was expecting to. And I will be touching a few things up here and there, even if you're gone, until I get everything more cohesively covered. I am going to torch. I keep saying that. I keep wondering if I want to do something, anything at all. And it wouldn't hurt my feelings to have some gold in there. Because I don't see a lot of gold. I don't want to lose any more of that red down in that corner. But it doesn't hurt my feelings to let all of it fall over either. All right, let's have a quick torch, just because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link, which, by the way, if you shop there, it's at no added cost to you, and it helps me out. I see I have an uncovered corner, and I'm going to grab another Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And I want to say I love you guys, and thanks for all the contributions that you donated to help keep me painting all this time. I really appreciate it. I love you for it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the great comments. You keep my morale boosted while things are weird at YouTube, and... Uh, since I have 85,500 plus subscribers and only 200 of you at a time watch, uh, income is trepidatious. So I really appreciate you guys who are uh, watching longer and binge watching and supporting me with uh, your comments and your thumbs up. So thank you so much. I don't know if I'm going to get to Torch before you're gone. But this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, that was still kind of interesting. That was the first time I used a gallery wrap canvas to to do this. We do get a few nice little cells. I probably could have used a straw to blow some things some places. I really kind of want to stick a basting brush in there and I think you're going to be gone so I'm not going to get a chance to, to show you that. Actually, I'm not unhappy I did that.